Broadcasting live from the Georgia World Congress Center. For FinTech South 2022, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by Atlanta Blockchain Center. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, broadcasting live uh, for FinTech South 2022 in the Georgia World Congress Center. I'm excited to be talking to Kazi Hawk with EY Parthenon. He is the co-chair of the Innovation Challenge here at FinTech South. Welcome, Kazi. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, before we get too far into things, let's talk about this Innovation Challenge. Um, what's the vision there and what are you trying to accomplish with it? Yeah, absolutely. Just at a high level, every year during FinTech South, we have the Innovation Challenge. It's an accelerator for early stage FinTech companies based in Georgia. And we have certain criteria. For example, they have to be based in Georgia, have to be in the FinTech realm broadly. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're not a FinTech, but they serve FinTechs. As well, they have a cap of a million dollars in funding. And what happens in this challenge is before FinTech South, four to six weeks prior, we were recruit the companies, we have them go through a accelerator program. So we give mentors as well as speakers, train them on the pitch. And before FinTech South, right before, a week before, we select the top three. Right. So those top three companies will be on the main stage today to pitch for a $25,000 prize. And then just for being part of it, do they get anything other than the mentorship and kind of the connections? Yeah. So PR is a huge, huge component of that. We make sure that they have spotlights during the conference, prior to the conference. In addition, they get free access to FinTech South for them and their teams. And that can be a very major lift right. for an early stage company. So now, um, when you say it's FinTech or FinTech adjacent, they yep. have to be touching FinTech in, in some, some form or fashion. For example, we have a company this year that's more of a ed tech platform, but they serve fintechs. So that has that tie to it. So it, it doesn't have to be a super direct tie. Nope. Lo- it just can be really adjacent. Exactly. Their customers can be fintechs, for example, right? right? They can have some component of fintech tied to it. For example, a payments platform within their broader mm-hmm. system. So now walk me through. I'm a startup. I, I, I meet all that criteria. What happens on day one? I, I get accepted. I'm one of the I guess, top 10 people that are in there. So what happens now? So day one, we're going to give you a mentor or a group of mentors. These individuals are usually leaders or experts in the fintech space Mm -hmm. based in here in Georgia. And then you're trying to match me up with somebody that's at least in the neighborhood of what I do, right? Exactly. That's that's the goal because they have been there, the journey they're going through so they can guide you better. And they can also make, help me make connections. 100%. And in addition, during the conference itself, we make sure the companies are meeting the right VCs, their partners, etc. And is is there a fee to me as the startup? There is no fee whatsoever. It's a completely free program. The only fee is filling out the application. So your time commitment there. It's time, but not money. Not money. And then so this is definitely a journey worth taking. 100%. Highly recommend it. If I was a fintech founder and this opportunity came up. It's not too late for you. uh, I don't know if I can do that yet, but maybe. (laughs) We'll see. So now uh, they come on the stage, you get to the top three. Now, who are the judges? Who are the people that are deciding uh, they whittled it down to three? This is the most exciting part. So during the conference, everyone judges. So whoever is in the audience gets to pick the winner. One of the voters. And then it's all voting online. It's all on voting on online. Their, on the app, probably. Yeah, yeah, very easy. And then so you vote, and then somebody is going to win, and then the other two, sorry, for, thanks sorry, for playing. But, hey, <laughs> they, they get the off. PR, right? They get the PR. So in, in the past, actually, we've seen the runners-up, quote-unquote, get funding afterwards. So right. that presentation, the pitch on stage really Because you're still effort. getting in front of lots exactly, and lots of people. Exactly. And then um, ha- have you been involved in this challenge before in the yeah. previous FinTech? So for the past two years, I was supporting the co-chairs. And this year, the co-chairs got tired of doing it, so <laughs> they like passed it on to me. <laughs> so you had the short straw. <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's been a great experience. Now, of the previous winners, uh, any kind of success stories from so there? So Trust Stamp. So Trust Stamp was oh, one of the winners so- for the tag the report yesterday. So wow. they started for the Innovation <laughs> Challenge won that, raised money, grew, and now they won the advance award as a mature company. Wow. Great so, success story. So that's a great success story. And then your vision for this in the future? In the future, we want to go bigger. We want more companies to participate and apply. This year, we only had seven. In the future, we would love to see 15 because this is a free resource right. that these companies can benefit from. And as I mentioned, Trust Stamp as an example, went through the program, raised money because of FinTechs out, now they're yeah. winning all the awards. And then this is something, are you 
partnering with like ATDC and then some yep. of the universities around the state because it's, it's so easy to be Atlanta centric and uh, forget about the rest yeah. of Georgia. So how are we you getting are definitely to- broader Georgia? So we partner with the Georgia FinTech Academy, ATDC, ATV, Valor Panoramic, any venture fund you can think of. Good stuff. So if somebody wants to learn more about this challenge, what's the way to do Easiest it? Easiest way, go on the website, FinTech South. There's an innovation challenge portion of it. So look through that. And over time, TAG will send out more materials and information on their LinkedIn page website on when you can apply next year. And then when typically is the application? Yeah. So depending on when FinTech South takes place, let's assume it's the same time period right. in June. Applications generally open end of March, early April. So it's like three months, 90 days Correct. prior? Correct. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for doing the work you do. Absolutely. It's important and we appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll be back in a few at FinTech South 2022. This episode has been brought to you by Atlanta Blockchain Center, the catalyst for Atlanta's emergence as the premier blockchain innovation hub globally through cultivating entrepreneurship, inclusivity, and education. To learn more, go to atlblockchaincenter.com.